Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about different voices in your Garmin GPS. Garmin's have most GPS units actually, not just Garmin. They have two different types of voices. One is TTS, one is non-TTS. The TTS stands for Text to Speech Voices. These voices are the ones that will be uh, pronouncing the street names. For example, it will tell you, it will speak the name of the streets telling you to turn right on 2nd Avenue or, or tur turn right on Austin Drive, turn right on Broadway and so on. But if it's not a, a, a TTS voice, it will simply tell you turn right and turn left. It will not tell you turn left on Robinson Street. So having that said, the TTS voices uh, from older Garmin are not transferable and uh, functionable on the newer ones such as Jack and Jill and all that. H any other voice can be transferred, copied and cop uh, uh, to your desktop and then copy to the destination folder of the newer GPS. However, what's very important is that the voice must be unlocked. Some voices are premium and you have to pay for those and they're usually locked and if that, if that is the case, then you can't use it unless you actually download it directly from Garmin and buy it from Garmin. Okay, so now we will uh, show you how to uh, upgrade some of the voices in a Garmin Nuvi 2597. In order to have full access to the GPS system files and to see where the voices are, you have to change the D GPS settings to uh, uh, so it can see uh, the um, uh, files inside the GPS. Normally, only limited number of files are visible when you plug this into a computer. Okay, so now I, I will show you what I mean by that. So, to do that, you go to Volume, put your hand, uh, finger on the upper right corner and don't let go. Just leave it there. Once you get this settings, you go to configuration and settings and then you go to MTP settings and then you choose mass storage. Then you save, then you go back or hold it down and go back to the main screen. Now this unit is uh, totally syncable with the computer. Before you would see limited uh, number of files because it would it would behave like a multimedia device now it behaves like an external hard drive or external USB drive now I forgot to mention in order to install voices maps and all that on the newer Garmin units you have to install Garmin Express in your PC in your computer and I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it and install it in your PC. If you don't have Garmin Express, you could use Garmin Web, Upda Web Updater, but that's for the older Garmins. For the newer ones, um, some voices are not showing up on Web Updater, but it does show on Garmin Express. Okay, now we will plug this in to the computer. Okay, so I unplug the power. Right now the GPS is on normal you know it's just like normal screen I unplug this hold on a second and plug in that PC this is the PC plug now you should be able to see it down below right in this corner uh, that it's being detected by the computer as I turn it on there it is and the computer logo that computer logo means it is synced with the computer. Now you will watch and see the, the, the right there. You see it right now. So now we will go and you know add the voices. In this computer, the uh, actual um, GPS is not the same one. This is a different 2597. So I have to add this device. It's searching for this device. I have multiple. I have hundreds of these GPS units. So I deal with GPSs. So add. You don't necessarily have to register. Just click next. And uh, similar device found 
you could say would you like to remove that old one or you you know whatever you want to do sure remove it yes and next now right here it's checking for the updates if you want to see what updates are available, it tells you. You have North America available, version 2023. This is an LMTS, uh, LMT, which means li lifetime free map. So I can get this for free if I wanted to. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to bo bother with that. But, uh, uh, you know, if you go down here, uh, you have time zone files, this and that. I'm not interested in any of these right now. I am interested in voices so i go back and i click here this is where the voices are once you click here you can see you know the information of your gps unit you can see the utilities you could back it up if you want to and you can go to language files d down here click the, and scroll down the language file and here you have all these files of different voices if you want english you click this one if you want other languages you click all of those uh, other files and you click install so right now it's installing english voices we wait patiently for the installation okay installation is complete and now we go back see if we need anything else this is how much storage i have this is how much is empty I guess the, the map file is deleted on this unit because the map file should be bigger than that. Now I'm going to unplug this and power it up and see which new voices are added. Okay, so it's powering up now. Okay, now I'm going to go to settings. There should be multiple. So. All these are American English voices that I downloaded. I have American English. I have a, this is non TTS. It doesn't speak the street names. American English Jack speaks the street names. American English Michelle, American English Samantha, and then we have Australian English, Australian English Matilda, British English. All these English files were included in what I downloaded. Now, additional voice files could be purchased, uh, but it's not. Uh, as a package it doesn't come with a unit when you try to install it so this is how you install voice languages in your newer uh, Garmin GPS series I hope this was helpful thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe